Uh, happy Whiskey Wednesday, everybody. This is the Whiskey Lifestyles Women in Whiskey series. Uh, this is our new episode. So happy Wednesday. Uh, this week, we are going to take a little bit of a different twist. We've talked to some distillers. We've talked to some blenders. We've talked to people who pick barrels. We've talked to people who are in media. Uh, this week, we're going to talk to somebody who is at a distillery, but is front of house. So welcome, Kelsey from Kings County Distillery. How are you, Kelsey? Hi, thanks for having me. I'm great. And yourself? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. It is. Uh, it's great to talk to you. I've heard a lot about Kings County. I've seen the beautiful bottles you guys have, but we'll talk a little bit more about Kings County. Let's first talk about you. How did you introduce yourself? How did you get into whiskey? What What was your What's your whiskey origin story? Sure. So uh, again, my name is Kelsey Coons. Um, so I am a native New Yorker from Harlem, but my family is from the South. So we are very familiar with moonshine and how, you know, corn liquor and all those things. So it's definitely been around for a bit, but I didn't really get into the wind- windy <laughs> the whiskey industry until I actually signed up to join um, Windmill Whiskey New York City chapter. So they are right here in New York City. So one year during COVID, I was was um, during the thick of the pandemic. So I did a virtual tasting with Kings County Distillery and Jen Blair, who did a great job presenting. And I was just blown away. Like the whiskey was great. The tasting was great. And I was just like, I would love to volunteer here. So I like followed them on Instagram and I followed her. And then I saw they were posting for tour guides. And I was like, oh, this would be a great opportunity. So I reached out and then I went to the distillery to interview. I met Devin, who's awesome. And it was just, it just felt right. Mm-hmm. And then yeah. boom, next couple of weeks, I was shadowing and then starting as a tour guide. So, oh, wow. here so I you just, <laughs> okay, so like l- less than two years in, I mean, yeah, you know, when, okay, wow. All right. So, yeah, so I started so what, May last year, 2021. Yep. Okay. Okay. So a year. So happy uh, belated anniversary. Uh, Thank what you. Does, you know, tell me, there you go. Kings County representing on the t-shirt. What, yep. <laughs> tell me what, uh, tell me a little bit about the, the life of a tour guide. What is a tour guide at a distillery like, and then specifically Kings County, what is so unique about giving people so, that tour? Yeah. So we are pretty much, you know, the educators of our whiskey. We are the ones that show you around, show you about how distilling works, give a little bit of history about our location, what we do, how we produce it. We're very transparent about how we produce our products, which I think is great. And we are really here to one, educate and then make people feel good about whiskey. You know, there's a lot of people that you'll get on the tours where they're very new to it. They've never really had whiskey. They've had like one their whole life. And Mm -hmm. they're like, I don't know much about it. And, you know, they get to us and then they leave very enthusiastic about trying more and learning about what true American whiskey is. And I think Kings County does a great job at that. Okay. And that, that is so interesting. I often think that when I go to a distillery or, or, you know, when I'm, when I'm doing distillery tours, I'm always thinking it's the nerds, it's the, it's the, you know, the people who are really into it. That is so, mm-hmm. that's so, so what brings in a whiskey novice into, into distillery? That is that's such a unique POV. Yeah. So, I mean, you do, you will get your whiskey nerds. You'll have your mm-hmm. people who like done tours for years, have like this huge mm-hmm. collections of whiskey and, um, they come to Kings County and it's just a whole different experience. You know, we're a small craft distillery. It's uh, our building is beautiful. Our design is beautiful and our pot stills are beautiful. And I think that's where most people get intrigued that they come in, they see the pot stills and it's just like, Whoa. <laughs> mm-hmm. And, um, it's interesting to see how the scale. So you'll see people who are really enthusiastic about it. And then there's the other group that they figure they like, they know it all about it, which is not a bad thing, but they also leave learning something new as well. So, so uh, we have talked a little bit about Kings County. Dude, you said beautiful, beautiful space. It is in an amazing location. Give us the, give us the Kings County the introduction when, when someone walks in. So, so they understand. So our audience understands a where Kings County is, because I think yeah. they might be pleasantly surprised if you don't know what Kings County is, but then also just the the history of the brand. It's a, and it's so, it's so yeah. unique. So we are located at the Brooklyn Navy Yard. So we are by a lot of other buildings as well. So we are the old paymaster. So the building was made in 1899. So if you were like a person in Navy or you were serving, that was where you would go to get your paycheck. So now it's our distillery. So the location itself is also cool because that's where the Brooklyn Whiskey Wars used to take place. So it's a nice little history fact that we like to include and it goes into our brand as well. We are creators of true American craft whiskey. We are the oldest whiskey distillery in New York City since Prohibition. So 
that has a lot of honor and a lot of history in it in itself. So when we're discussing our story about how we got started, you know, Colin was making his batch of moonshine and led into this awesome brand that we love and talk about today. And I think when people hear the story that it wasn't from a person who was in a place where they had, you know, all this big fancy stuff. It was just like, no, a person who was just enthusiastic about it and was just loving the spirit and did it because he loved the spirit. Mm. So and, go ahead. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. No, 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 no. I was saying, well, that takes a to- you know, that takes us to a place of, you know, you get some heart in the story and that comes alive in our spirits. And that's what, that's what I love about all about craft distillers in general. And particularly, you know, to your point, yes, this is not your, this is not your typical and they're, they're a beautiful and amazing. And we talk to people, it's not your typical Kentucky bourbon experience. It is in the heart of Brooklyn. It is on the water. Um, it is, it is so unique. I mean, even the bottle. So if you can talk, tell us, tell the folks a little bit about yes, why sir. that Kings County bottle looks so yep. unique compared to, <laughs> compared to the, what you normally see on shelves at your at bars and, at, and, and stores. Yeah. So our bottle is exactly the way it is on purpose. You know, everything mm-hmm. that we do here is intentional. So the bottle is, we want you to pay attention to the spirit, not any of the label. So it's nice, clean and crisp, very minimalist. And it just lets the buyers and everybody enthusiastic about it know that you are here for the product, not for the label, not for any of the big marketing stuff behind it. Your purchase is in the bottle. And I love that too, because, you know, our little 200 milliliters, they're actually designed to go right in your back pocket. So I was, I was going to say that. I, you know, I didn't know if that was okay, because depending on what state you're in, it might not be open carry, but uh, yeah, there you yeah, go. You don't do it now, but, you know, they, uh-huh. they do have that fitting. <laughs> so uh, you, you were, you said, whiskey fan before this. Uh, what in that, when this year plus, what have you learned about whiskey? What have you learned about whiskey that surprised you? Good question. Um, what did I learn about whiskey that surprised me? Um, so my favorite part of whiskey, besides drinking it, obviously, is the distilling part. Mm-hmm. And working at Kings County really let me take a deeper dive into how much your yeast plays into mm-hmm. your production. So, like, yes, I knew yeast was an important contributor to how your the flavor of your whiskey, but to see it up front was a whole different experience. So just really seeing the fermentation process live and up front for me was a great learning experience. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what have you learned about yourself in this past year doing this, doing this job, talking to all these folks, having, you know, drinking all this good whiskey? Mm -hmm. What what what, what have you learned about Kelsey? I've learned, I really love talking to people about whiskey. (laughs) I, I really enjoy, you know, the whole dynamic of, you know, you're drinking good whiskey with people. And you're having a conversation because, you know, whiskey is about stories and you get together with some great people and you have some whiskey stories. And it's just nice to see everybody's reaction, experience it. And even the ones that are like, you know, not confirming, you know, I always tell people when we talk about whiskey, like you can say things you don't like, like this mm-hmm. is a free open space to say whatever comes to mind. If you don't like it, OK, let's talk about it. If you think this is trash. All right, let's talk about it. <laughs> you know, I don't feel like there's anything that's off limits when it comes to whiskey, but I truly enjoy critiquing it and talking to people about it while I'm doing so. OK. And what uh, in those experiences, what are, what are some of the, the, the more interesting customers responses, experience you have? Do you have a favorite tour story that, you know, you're like, oh, my God, this one time. You know, I did. I one know. of my favorite things about is when people are really like blown away that it's not a traditional Kentucky bourbon. And then mm-hmm. there was one day it was in the summertime too and there was a sweet senior who came on our tour she had to be about 92 and I was concerned about her walking up the stairs because you know Mm -hmm. part of our tour it goes upstairs so uh I told her I was like listen I will give you the tour on the lower level so you don't have to walk up the stairs and she was just like no 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 I came here for the whiskey so I'm walking up the stairs and it was just such a joy to watch her pull herself up those stairs just so she could have that full tasting experience and it was just honorable that somebody you know in that state was still got the heart for the whiskey uh, especially our whiskey 
Yeah, that, that is amazing. And, um, you know, as somebody who you talked earlier about, you know, you have a novice who will come in, somebody who is, you know, they may be coming just for the experience and, and not be into whiskey or not have tried a lot of whiskeys. What is your, uh, how do you in, give them that introduction to whiskey in general? You talked a little bit about having your opinion. And, and as you do a tasting, uh, I think you know, everyone does tastings differently. How do you guide people through their first whiskey experience? I always tell people, firstly, take your time. I feel like a lot of people who are new to drinking any spirit kind of rush it because they're trying to get past the alcohol part. And one of the things I try to make sure when I'm guiding a tasting is that really take your time with the whiskey, you know, hold it on your tongue, let it go over your tongue, really like let it coat your mouth and then begin to really taste it. And I am very open about, listen, there is no right or wrong answers here. How you know it, how you taste it is completely up to you and how you enjoy it is completely up to you. And whiskey is a very individualized experience. It's going to be different from this person to that person. And I just love watching all those interactions take place. Okay. All right. So, and, and you personally, what is your, what is your favorite Kings County expression? So if you're, you know, you, you're going to pull some, you know, it's the end of the day, you want to go pull, do a pour something. Yeah. 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 I will say my absolute favorite thing that we make is the Empire Ride. I absolutely okay. love it. But right on its ankles is our latest bottled in bond. Okay. I'm I'm a rye guy, so yeah, you you yeah, you're right for me. Yep. I mean, I love it all. But yeah. I will say Kings County has me spoiled. It is hard to impress me with a rye. Okay. But I, right. That's my favorite one. <laughs> so um what you, you talked a little bit about, you know, you joined you joined this organization and that's kind of what opened the door to Kings County. What made you join the Women in Whiskey New York chapter? What what was your obviously you said you were into whiskey as a fan and you know, tell yeah. me a little bit about that kind of what, what gave you that impetus to join that org- and a little bit more about the organization for people who may be interested in joining? Yeah, so Women Who Whiskey, they have a bunch of locations across the states. Um, but why I joined too, because I was at a place where I really wanted to get more into craft whiskey and, you know, just getting the experience of what that meant. And, you know, it was a thick of COVID too. And I was just like, I can't go out and enjoy certain places. So I, it's time for some virtual visits. And what I did find is that I do love the community of it, you know, even outside of Women Who Whiskey, I'm also part of Black Bourbon Society, which is great too. They have great events. It's a great community of people. And just that enthusiasm and the the great people that you meet makes you want to learn about it even more. So those are the two big things I had joined that really transformed, you know, the whiskey community, which has been great. As a woman in this industry, I will say it is a wonderful sisterhood. And you, I've met so many great women. I got aunties, I got sisters, I got you know, just chosen family. That's really, really great to have. That that leads me perfectly into into my next question. So this series is called Women in Whiskey. And we started it, we started it, you know, because we wanted to highlight all of these great people who are doing these amazing things in the industry. But, you know, I've heard that, yes, this, that, that term comes with a little subtext. So there, they, you know, different people have different opinions on that. What is your opinion on, on the phrase women in whiskey? Um, I feel like it's been great. I, I've honestly, I work with a lot of great women at Kings County too, you know, from the bar side to the distillery, Kings County is filled with incredible women, but in the industry in itself, it just means women coming together who love whiskey, love teaching about it, love excelling in it and then sharing it. You know, the great part about it is each one teach one and the community that's created behind it. You know, whiskey kind of has that um, stigma of this is a male space and it's really not anymore. I mean, in some places, yes, but women have been doing a ton of great work in the whiskey industry and it's a joy to watch. So I'm happy to be a part of that. Oh, cool. So yeah, we always love to to you know start to wind down this these interviews with some with some fun questions, a little bit of lightheartedness. So uh, okay. the first question is, you know, if you could have a drink anywhere in the world, what is what's your, what's your go to city? Where's your favorite place to drink? Where's my favorite place to honestly South Carolina? Okay. Why, why <laughs> I would be drinking. That's where my family's from. That's where the good old heart is. So me and some good barbecue and some good whiskey is where I'd go. Okay, some barbecue, some Empire Ride from Kings County. And there you go. I know, I actually went on vacation and I definitely was like, where's my 
Empire Eye. <laughs> so it goes with me. Uh, uh, and Earth, you can have uh, have a glass of that Empire Rye with one person dead or alive. Who would it be and why? Bernie Mac. I am a huge comedy lover. And mm. when he passed, I felt like I lost my own uncle. For, it was one of those. But I would definitely love to have a glass of whiskey with Bernie Mac. I was almost tempted. Had I had a glass of my already, I would have been tempted to do the, my impression. I'm not going to. I'm not going to do it to you or, <laughs> me, or anybody else or to the, you know, I don't want to get sued by the Matt family. Uh, yeah, this is, this is amazing. So, you know, Kelsey, tell people where, you know, uh, how they can come check you out at Kings County. Tell them where they can follow you as well as, you know, just being able to come take an amazing tour. Yeah, we we welcome everybody. You can take a look at our website. You can follow us on our Instagram. Um, there's a little blurb where you can just book your tour. You can book your tours online. Uh, I have an Instagram as well. It's just my name, Kelsey. And you can, you know, send me a message for anything. We'll get you set up and get you to the right people if you have any other questions. But please check out our website and our social media platforms. We are here to guide you. Awesome. Kelsey, thank you so much for doing this. Really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, it, it's, you know, you guys, like I said, you're that ambassador. You're that, you're that, you're, the, you're on the front lines that you're introducing people to these great spirits. So yeah. really appreciate you sharing your experience and, and sharing your stories with us. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. And thank you for having me. Come visit us. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm there. I've, I've been past one or two times. I have to, I have, I'm, I'm a fool for not being there sooner, but I'm going to get there very soon. Yep. All righty. Thanks so much. You have a good one.